I did it! I got the vortex! And then all of a sudden... <laughs> Michael got his fucking head chopped off. Oh my god, what the <laughs> hell? All what right, the? all right, no, that didn't happen. Okay, good, good. That that day. We got the football, and we got the hell out of there. And you know why nothing you happened? You got me the well, first time. Hey everyone, SMG here. Welcome back to another Brew Stew reaction. This one's called Mead Old Lady. Make sure you go subscribe to Bruce Stew. Make sure you go watch the original video down below. Make sure you like, subscribe, ring the notification bell if you like this reaction. Let's get on to this right now. Three, two, one, let's go. All right, now I think it's safe to say that when you're a kid, there were certain houses in your neighborhood that you would tend to stay away from. I mean, everybody mm -hmm. knew where the neighborhood pervert was on the block after all. <laughs> hey, you guys want to come inside my house so I can take pictures of your feet? Well, for me what? personally, no. I was always more worried about the old lady that lived across the street from me. Because this old lady was mean as hell, and she was notorious for yelling at anybody that walked past her house. Get off my property, you little piss bag! <laughs> I'm on the sidewalk! Because he's what yellow. What do you do, walk in the middle of the street? <laughs> ah! 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 Oh god. Now, oh. Even if you were in your own front yard, minding your own business, doing kid shit, she would sit on her front porch and stare at you and make you uncomfortable as hell. La di da da, I'm doing kid shit. Well, what the? <laughs> oh. Uh, Ma'am, can I help <laughs> the you? The suspense, boy. Oh. Uh, hello? <laughs> this is really uncomfortable. Goodbye. <laughs> Um, Later. some old lady staring at me like she's the fucking Blair Witch. Can I just play inside? Listen, I don't care if it's John Wayne Gacy out there staring at you. You <laughs> get your ass out there and you play outside. And if that wasn't bad enough, she had this big-ass cat that would stare at us it's as a well. a fat when cat. I say this cat was big, I mean, this thing was like the size of a goddamn third grader. Oh, God. If I want, I don't give a damn. It was an outdoors cat. It would just roam around the neighborhood and catch people off guard when they're walking down the street. Oh, what the hell is that? A Kodiak brown bear? Kids, run for your lives. There's a fucking Kodiak brown bear roaming the streets. <laughs> Naturally, this mean old lady and her fat ass cat gained quite the reputation amongst us kids we'd be making up urban legends and shit i heard she chops up kids with a chainsaw and feeds them to that fat ass cat of hers oh my god really she kids into cat food what the fuck are we gonna do about this now the worst part about we don't this even know lady was that every time we played wiffle ball out in the street it always seemed like the goddamn ball would always end up over a fence and into her backyard i don't know what it was but it watch it hit time. the cat there was a fucking gravitational pull in her backyard that would suck up wiffle balls left and right one time my friend michael tried to climb her fence to get a ball back and that damn old lady tore my new asshole get off my fence you piss thing don't make me sick my fat ass cat on you like he comes walking back trying to play it off like he wasn't terrified the whole time he and pissed himself lucky i didn't walk up there and push her old ass over uh yeah michael you know there's you all over the front of your pants right there's what oh god damn it well, needless to say he got so scared he pissed any himself ball that went in her backyard stayed in her backyard and the only time we didn't follow that rule was when i lost my sweet sweet vortex football over there you see if you're not aware vortex footballs were a big deal in the 90s i mean it's a football shaped like a fucking nuclear weapon for christ's sake it's got Ooh. whistles on the side john elway fucking whistles and shit hi i'm john elway and i can throw this motherfucker into the stratosphere if i wanted to <laughs> So of course one day the Ding. unthinkable happens. I'm gonna kick the football. Don't kick the football, Michael. Kick it? Don't kick it. God kick damn the it. baby. All right, I'm kicking it. Don't kick the goddamn baby. Boom. Right into that mean old lady's backyard. Oh my God, Michael, what have you done? I don't care if your ass is getting chainsawed in half or not. You're getting your ass over that fence and you're getting that goddamn vortex football. So Michael, God damn it, house, Michael. Known his chances of survival are about as good as his shitty kicking abilities. That fat ass cat sitting on the porch licking his lips and shit. Ooh, looks like I got me a baby to eat. Somehow Michael gets behind the fence undetected. We're all just standing there just waiting to hear the sound of a child getting murdered by a chainsaw. Hey, Michael, make sure you throw the vortex before you get your head chopped off, okay? I'm over there praying to John Elway and shit. Please, John Elway. Please, Please deliver, deliver Michael's misguided ass, ass to my vortex, vortex football. football. He's willing to die for it, or at least he should be, since he kicks like a fucking girl. Like five minutes go by, and we're starting to lose hope. Well, I think it's safe to say Michael's dead. You guys want to go yep. outside and play Sega Genesis? But then out of nowhere, somehow Michael fucking gets this vortex football back. I did it! I got the vortex! And then all of a sudden. <laughs> Michael got his fucking head chopped off. Oh my god, what the <laughs> hell? All what right, the? all right, no, that didn't happen. Okay, that good, good. That day. We got the football, and we got the hell out of there. And you know why nothing you happened? You got me the well, first time. old lady fucking died a couple weeks before that. I know that's a shit oh. ending, but we didn't know it at the time, so it was a big win for us. I mean, we got the Vortex football yep. back. And, a and what about the cat? on top of it. It wasn't until we seen that her house was up for sale a couple weeks later that we began to piece things together. But even after that mean old lady was gone, her fat ass cat remained. And he'd still watch us all the goddamn time, licking his lips and shit. One of these days, little baby. He's gonna, gonna eat you. He's gonna eat days. him. Bro. 
Brewstew.com. This was, uh, that was, he got me the first time with that, uh, he just chopped Michael's head off. That actually got hey, me. what are you doing? Hey, yo, boys, that actually got me. Holy crap. Anyways, guys, yeah, make sure you watch the original video. Go subscribe to Bruce Do. Make sure you like, subscribe, ring the notification bell. And, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Later, guys, thanks for watching. Deuces.